Hello everybody, it's Mystic, and welcome to my library. This is Planet Zoo. This is actually not a series I was planning on putting on my channel. I was planning on playing Planet Zoo pretty much offline, but I have been loving this game so much. I've been playing it like crazy offline, and I thought it would be fun to put a franchise zoo uh, series on YouTube. So we are going to be starting that today. And I do have one offline franchise zoo, but we will not be playing that here. I'm going to be making a new one. So we might as well get started. Um, I did actually also want to participate a little bit in the Great Escape, uh, which is release 90,000 uh, Western Lowland Gorillas to the wild. I did participate in the Tiger one. I did not manage to get the hat, but I did get the shirt and whatever the other rewards were and uh -huh. so i do want to try and get everything for the gorillas maybe we'll try and do that with our zoo here but honestly my franchise zoo for youtube is just going to kind of become this big sprawling thing most likely um so i thought why not start it now and by the way for those of you wondering i don't actually live in italy i just didn't want to have my character on the spot where i do live uh but my family is from italy so i'm like you know what let's let's be there we'll be in italy uh, so yeah, let's get started on the franchise mode and I guess start building some things. I do want to warn you, I am a terrible builder. I will most likely be using stuff from the workshop. Uh, I want to learn eventually how to build better zoos, but for the moment I am just going to use some workshop stuff and maybe just some of the pre-made things, at least at the beginning. As I progress in this and get better at it, I would like to start building things, but for the moment, I'm not going to be building a whole lot of stuff. Uh, also, I just realized I could hover over these things and find out what exactly is what. So what's this? Temperate, taiga. I have already, I think this zoo is a Europe taiga. Or no, yes, it's taiga. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no, it might be temperate. Yeah, it's a temperate European zoo, so I could do taiga. Or grassland, maybe? Actually, if I did grassland, I'd probably be closer to, like, Italy. So we could do grassland. Where is grassland? This is grassland. Do a Europe grassland. Or we could even do tropical. I know there's no tropical in Europe, but... let's No, let's do grassland. And we'll do Europe. I, I like having my stuff in... Well, maybe I should switch things up, because there are actually some achievements for doing different ones. I wouldn't mind doing a tropical zoo, actually. So how about we do Oceana? We could do Oceana. Tropical is towards the coast, I would assume. Yeah. Let's do tropical. We'll do tropical Oceana. Because I haven't done those yet. And then we'll call this... Um, I mean, I already have Library Zoo. Because, you know, that's my channel name. But I, I can't obviously do that again. Mystics... Animal Haven? Hat, I can't fit the N. Oh. Mystics Zoo Haven? I don't know. That sounds weird. Mystic Zoo Haven. Oh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll play that. Okay. And here we are. Got lots of open space here. Ooh. Tropical is actually quite nice. It's pretty. I've never played on the tropical one before. At least not in franchise mode. And by the way, this map is huge. Like you start all the way. That's the entrance building. The little tiny thing right there. And it goes to right here. That's the that's the property line of the zoo. This place is huge. My offline franchise zoo has only... I mean, I've been playing it since the beginning. It's maybe... No, it's not even that big. It's maybe taking up like this much room. And I feel like I've already done so much. But... Yeah, there's a whole lot of things to do. So I guess we might as well just get started building just some of the paths and things like that. Um, let's see. What do we want to put here? I kind of want to do ooh, mosaic. Tree bark? Tree bark will probably work really well for tropical. Let's do tree bark. We'll do a tree bark path. And I want to kind of try and keep it somewhat uh, neat because I don't always... I don't always do that. My last zoo, kind of, everything looked kind of like a giant amoeba. <laughs> so, we'll, uh, is that still part of the grid? Yeah, okay. So we're going to just kind of build some guest areas to start. 
because the guests are going to need some spaces to go. And I guess we might as well just put everything up front here, especially the um, info place and, and that kind of stuff. And also, I think, is that going to be wide enough? Should I make it wider? I'm, I might want to make it wider. I just realized it's not as wide as it could be. So let's let's actually do that. Let's deselect the grid. Make it... Do I want to make it 10, though? All right. Wait, can I not make it wider with the grid? I guess I can't. Okay, well, never mind. We'll just... Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go down one more and then go like this and like this. Okay. Also, if I remember correctly, now there's a whole bunch of options here. Um, what's the one I'm looking at? The T-junction? I could just make it wider going like this, too. That might work. That, that might work. Okay, so what I want to put at the beginning here... I don't want to spend too much money on paths or time... Uh, for the moment, we are going to just have very basic looking buildings. I'm not going to do anything crazy until later. So we definitely need an info center. I don't remember exactly what they can buy here, but I do like to have it right at the entrance because I feel like it probably has maps and things that they can use. Let's actually go like this just so there's a little bit of a queue, a queue, bleh, a queue line there. And then... I do want to have um, some balloons because, you know, having a gift shop towards the entrance and the exit is always a good idea. And we'll just put it right here. I'm trying to make sure they align. I guess I could try and I could try and put it on a grid. Uh, see, it's not it's not totally aligned, but I'm not going to be a super big perfectionist about this. Like I said, stuff is going to be changing later. All right. So we also need some food, which I think we only have chief beef at the moment. Wait, can I put stuff on a grid? I can't even put stuff on a grid in this mode. So I'm just going to have to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll put the gulpy whatever's over here. Okay. And what else? We should get some benches. Although I have to say, has anybody actually noticed anyone sitting on the benches? I haven't. I haven't seen anybody sit on these benches. I don't know if it's because I'm putting them in the wrong place. Should they be here? But I've been watching other people play and I don't think I've seen people sit on benches in their games either. All right, we'll put them there, but I'm pretty sure that's a bug. I'm I'm actually curious. Has anybody seen anybody sit on those benches? Because I have not. Get some recycling bins. Like that. And by the way, um, if you're new here, hello. My name is Mystic. Welcome. Uh, you might hear some noise in the background. That is my puppy. Her name is Aqua. She is eight months old and I do, you know, have to keep an eye on her and make sure she's not getting into shenanigans and that kind of thing. So you might hear her kind of, you know, wandering around in the background. I actually think she's sleeping on the couch upstairs at the moment. I did take her for a nice long walk before we started, so she should be good. But if you do hear anything in the background, that would be her. She'll probably come down, chew on her bone and, you know, her little collar tags might make some noise but that's about it she's a good girl she don't she won't do too much crazy you know, too many crazy things um okay so we also need to get some staff facilities i, I kind of like just having this little plaza right here and then maybe what i'll do is make like a little courtyard right here and then we'll kind of have stuff branching out and we'll go from there um all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put we're going to align this back to the grid because it just makes everything so much neater. And then go like that and like that and like that. Actually, do I want the courtyard to be a little bigger? See, that's not... I don't want it to be... Okay, wait. Let's actually... 
go like that. Because my plan here is to... Well, it doesn't need to be huge. We can go like that. Have it be a rectangle. I hope this isn't going to cause any pathing issues. It shouldn't. It's just one big path. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and start building some habitats. Now, I'm not going to be able to afford a whole lot. I just realized I've spent so much money already. And I also don't think the width is doing what it's supposed to do. Let me deselect the grid. And then... How do I want this to branch? Like that? Also, I should make this wider, or longer, I mean. And we'll put our first habitat basically like right at the entrance, I would think. Oh, I also need to make room for guest or for staff services. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a path branch out over here. And just kind of go up this way. They'll they'll be along this side here. In which case, I think I'm going to just get rid of this path and then it's going to branch down. So let's get our our staff facilities in. Um, they don't have to look beautiful right now. It's, it's just all the basic stuff. Um, oh, I should make sure. By the way, this thing is super helpful because it shows where guests are going to be annoyed. This, this ring here. So if I were to put it on this path, the guests would not like this because they would be walking through it and they would be like, ew, that building is gross. I don't want to see it. So... We're going to put it here, and they won't see it over here. And I can turn it off now because that means that everything else... So see, it, it kind of goes around in a circle. Nothing over here. The guests are not going to care. Like, they might be able to see it, but it's not in that little ring, so it's not going to bother them. All right, we'll put the two bigger buildings in this little clearing here, which is quarantine and the hospital. Okay, and then we need the staff room, which I guess can go here too. Okay, uh, what else? We got the, what is this? Research? Keeper hut. All right, we got the keeper hut. We need the research center. Obviously we need the trade center or we won't be able to adopt any animals. Trade center. I think I can stick it right here near this tree. And I think that's everything. We've got the keeper hut, quarantine, research, staff room, trade center, zoo. Oh, workshop. I don't think I have a workshop yet. Do I? No, I do not. All right, we'll make a workshop. Now, the problem with these smaller buildings is they're not really... Oh, you're going to do that? Why? It's okay. It's okay. Except I'm going to be a perfectionist. I need to have... I need to have that. Okay, so we got that. Oh, we also need to be able to power everything. So let's get that. Utilities, transformer. And I think I want to just put it right over here. Hang on. I need to make sure it's going to be able to connect. There. Perfect. And that should... Well, it's actually not going to cover a great deal. Um, maybe I should actually put it on the other side. Hang on. Move. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it on this side. That's a little bit better because now I can actually have an exhibit over here, I think. I mean, it's still not great. I may want to actually have another transformer. And just, just to confirm, none of these are going to be in the way of the guests. So that should be okay. Everything is powered. I might want to get another transformer, like, over here. But for the moment, we should be okay. Because it's not like I can afford a lot at the very beginning. Um, all right, so... We need to actually start building some habitats. At the very beginning, stuff is 
it's going to have to look kind of crappy. We're going to use the corrugated metal, which is not beautiful, but it'll it'll do for now. I think we'll put the first habitat right here. Most likely it's going to be, well, I mean, I do have a, a lot of conservation credits, so I could buy, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that angle. Why is this being such a pain in my butt right now? All right, let's just start again. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there. Hello? What is happening? That one's working. I can't, okay, there we go. I don't know. I don't know. Game, game has some issues at the moment. I wonder if I can afford gorillas. Uh, they would definitely get my money up. And yes, it is going to just be a square for the moment. I Like I said, stuff will look nicer later. We don't have a ton of money to really fiddle with things at the moment. Um, so let's get a path. And what I want to do here is... Where is it? I think it might already actually be set. Oh, no, it's not. Snap along to barriers. When you do that, it actually keeps it nice and... Um like locked into where the barrier is, except it's not gonna work right now because reasons. Um, okay, that's better. Well, it's still not perfect, but it'll, it'll do. <laughs> it's not perfect. That's gonna bother me, but it's okay. Or maybe I should have done it along a grid. One second. Although I don't... Yeah, I... I okay, hang on. I need, it, I need it along a grid. Oh, no. Actually, I should have just done this. Okay. Let's try this again. Wait, don't delete. Okay. And then... But then if I do that, it's too far away. Ah! Oh no, what have I done? Deselect that grid. Let's try that. I still don't think this is gonna work how I want it to work. Because now I can't... I mean, I guess I could move... I could move the barrier. What? Why are you obstructed? Obstructed by what? Oh, well, first of all, hang on. There. I don't love that this isn't wide, though. Yeah, that's not my favorite either. I'm sorry. I'm being a perfectionist. You'll get used to it. Let's, um... Okay, let's not do a grid. We're gonna still snap it to the barrier. I think that's still chosen. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Okay. That's better. I want it to be close. And I'm already on one, right? Yeah. Like, it's still not perfect, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay, so now we need habitat gate. Let's actually put it on this side because that's where all of the wait what why are you why that's where the keeper huts are and stuff okay so i have to figure out oh no but before i do that not construction i need some education stuff because that'll help guests give us some money always helpful this is obviously not i don't even think this habitat's very big how big is it 456 all right well i can fit certain animals in there I'll see what I can get. Put that right here. I like to just scatter these. That way it increases our education bonus and increases the chance of people actually giving the zoo some donations. So that is always a good thing. And then I just need, speaking of donations, to get a donation box. I'm going to get a couple because these people do not like walking for, far to give us their money. Um, 
that should be good. Maybe I'll put one on this side too. It doesn't hurt to have extras. Like they're not going to complain and be like, wow, so many donation boxes. How dare they? Okay, so we got that. I still feel like I should have more benches, even though I don't think they actually use them. But if they ever fix that problem, I want to make sure people have a place to sit. By the way, recycling bins are somewhat better because they do increase your conservation bonus, which you can look at from here, which obviously I have nothing right now, but we'll get there. So yeah, this is going to eventually turn into like a nice little decorated courtyard. And then maybe I'll put some trees and stuff over here. But first, let's find our first animal. Might be better to spend money on them at the moment. Now, oh, I cannot afford any gorillas, which I'm not surprised. I do want to be able to participate in that, but I have just a little too, uh, a little not, a, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't have enough is where I'm going with that. So, plus they wouldn't be able to fit in that habitat. Um, what can we put? I mean, honestly, the easier ones to do at the beginning are peafowl, but they breed like rabbits. So you gotta be careful. Um, what else is good for this size? We could do, I mean, I have some conservation credits, but I also don't want to spend too many of my conservation credits because what I want to be able to do is be able to afford some of these cheaper gorillas. So I think what I'm going to do, and I know that, ost not ostriches, uh, peacocks can be sold for money. So let's, let's see what I can find for peacocks. Yeah, see, these guys are selling for money and I can get a couple of cheap ones here. By the way, be careful. Look at the ages when you're buying them. I mean, these guys don't stink. Oh, these guys do though. Well, some of them. This guy's not bad, actually. For a beginner? Oh wait, what's wrong with you? Oh no, nothing. It's just I can't return this one to the wild if I adopt it. Um, Actually then, in which case, since they're so cheap, it would probably be better Hell, a 7.8 year old peafowl, especially a male, that shouldn't be too bad. And he's actually fairly decent for a starter animal. Oh, I need to get zookeepers. Maybe I should do that first. <laughs> make sure you have staff and make sure you have work zones. Oh, which reminds me. Oh no, I didn't, what was his name? Oh shoot, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. His name is not Wa. Um. Tom Jones. I don't even know if it was a girl or, or a guy, but whatever. Create a vendor assignment. You are now assigned to Chief Beef. Let's do this real quick because I don't want to forget. All right, so Tom Jones is assigned. Jamie, whatever, is going to go to Looney Bloons. And let's just make sure they all have a job. Wait. Yeah, okay. Assign you to there. <laughs> and now the one thing I'm not sure of, and I haven't actually figured this out yet, is if vendors need to have work zones or if I can just assign them to a store. I've just been assigning them to stores and it seems like it's okay. But if anybody knows, let me know in the comments because I could totally just make some work zones for them. Also, let's get a caretaker. Let's get a keeper. And we also need a veterinarian. Okay, so these guys are at the very least the... Oh, bathrooms. I don't have bathrooms. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, hang on. We don't want to make them hold it. That would be mean. So we'll put... Put a bathroom along this side. And then maybe another one on the other side. I don't know how many people we're going to get at the beginning, but it probably wouldn't hurt to have extra bathrooms. Just like that. Okay. Um, all right. So the caretaker... I want to make sure the caretaker taper caretaker is assigned to at the very least the bathrooms. 
Let's make a new work zone. And then we'll just write caretaker one. So caretaker is going to go to caretaker one. Keeper needs to have a work zone. So we'll give the keeper this and whichever one the keeper hut was. This one? Yeah. And then also the trade center. I think they need to also be in the trade center. I don't know if I'm also supposed to assign staff rooms, but... Well, no. Actually, let's just call this Peafowl. Peafowl? I don't know. Peafowl. Peafowl zone one. Okay. And then you... Where are you? You're going to get that. I guess the veterinarian should be assigned to the hospitals and stuff. That's the other thing. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be assigning veterinarians to work zones. I didn't really in my first playthrough, but I probably should. At the very least, they need those and research. So I'll just do vet zone one, not 12. Okay. And then the veterinarian gets... That's zone one. Okay. That should be good for the moment. And then we just need to get our animals. And yeah, we'll start with Peafowl because like I said, hello? Why? Can I get you? Yes! Thank you, whoever that was. You're swell. You are super swell. Thank you for putting that awesome Peafowl up for one conservation point. Um, and again, this one's not bad. I might even take this. Now, let me see if this, if it's still being, yeah, see, it's still being wonky. I can't click next, um, which kind of stinks, but at the very beginning, it's really not going to matter too much. Um, those are all males, so I can't do anything with them. Let's just take Syra. Nope, never mind. She's taken. I do not want something with that low of a fertility gene. Oh, gosh. All right. You? You're pretty good, although you're a little older than I would prefer. Oh, this one's not bad. Anushka. Although, I kind of want to do some names. Um, so, if you're watching this, and you would like me to name an animal either after you or you have a name suggestion, just let me know in the comments. Say, you know, what species you want me to name. Give me the name, and I will, you know, definitely start naming things after people or after suggestions that they have. And uh, that sort of thing. We'll just call that peafowl habitat. Okay, so obviously I don't have anything in here yet. Um, I'm going to have them go get them. Wait, I know I'm low on cash. Thank you. Are you guys going to go get the peafowl? Anyone? Hello? Is it because I gave them work zones? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Seriously? So my pandas from my other zoo can be put into here? Really? Oh, that's, that's good to know. Then I can totally put pandas in here. Anybody going to move my animals? I don't know why they're not... I know I'm low on cash. How come nobody's going to get the animals? Is it is it because I gave them all work zones but didn't actually put anything in the trade? Where's my keeper? Like, shouldn't my keeper be doing this? Huh. I must have done something wrong. Hmm, I wonder if it's because they have work zones. Let me see what happens if I take the vet off the work zone for a minute. Yeah, see, because, all right, so here's what I need to do then. I need to put the work zone for the vet and I need to include the trade center. And I think... That'll be okay. Did I include the trade center on the keeper, though? 
I must not have. That would be why. GG, Mystic. Caretaker Peafowl. Edit. No, you are on there. You're on the Animal Trade Center, so why are you being a butthead? Alright, well, my vet is getting them, but why is my keeper just derping around? I don't know why we're making the vet do all the work. Or are you just taking your own leisurely time? I don't know why... I didn't have that happen before. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Who is this? Yeah, my keeper is just being a dummy. I don't know why. Hello? Okay. That was Anushka. Now, let me see. I've added the trade center, but it, nobody is... Oh, no. See, the vet's doing it. Is the keeper not supposed to? Is that not the keeper's job? Maybe that's why. I, I don't think I've ever actually noticed that. In which case, I need to add... The caretaker needs to also be able to do it. Because I know that the caretaker has brought animals to other habitats before. So... If I do that, yeah, see, my ca my, ca my caretaker is taken off. So that's the problem. Okay, so now we need to focus on fixing this terrain. Oh, and I need windows. Hello. Um, let's actually do that first. I'm trying to decide how I want to... Obviously, I don't want to stress them out. And I don't have one-way glass right now, so we'll just go Although I don't think the peacocks really care, to be honest. Because they're one of the species that can, um, oops, stop. They're one of the species that can have people go into their habitat, so I don't think they care if there's a lot of people here. Actually, I may want to move that then. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. What do we need here? Hard shelter. Which I guess I'll put in that little corner there. This was me playing around with making shelters. It's not very good. It'll, it'll do okay for the moment, but I guess we'll just use this one. I mean, I used it for my other playthrough. Put that there. That would be my phone. It is a Moogle, in case you're wondering. Okay. Just make sure it's not the school. It is not. Okay. We got that. I don't think we have any enrichment for a peacock yet. Let's just search. We do not. Got the habitat. Food. We need some food. Let's get a water pipe. And a food bowl. Also, if that's the case, I am going to need a water filtration mahuzet, I think. I'm pretty sure the fountain needs that. I could be wrong. Let me know if I am. Let me just make sure that's not in the middle. Nope. Just misses. Okay. So that'll be fine. Oh wait. It's not connected though. I thought it was. I could have sworn I saw a path join up with it. There. Okay. Oh, and I'll need to buy... Buy? I need to buy a mechanic. I need to get a mechanic. Oh, we have no money. 
I'm not going to necessarily assign a work zone to the mechanic at the moment. I might need to later, though. Is that everything? Oh, I need to turn on all of our education stuff. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the money to make another habitat right now. So I'm going to have to wait. Oops. Hopefully our peacocks will generate us some income. I think that's everything. Did I get this? No. Always make sure you have those on. Okay, I think we're good. Is the zoo open? It is. Okay. Here comes our income. Welcome. Buy some stuff. Wait! I still didn't do... <laughs> I... I... Okay. Hang on. I still didn't do the plants. What am I doing? Okay, we just need to get rid of some of the long grass. That's better. Okay. I don't want to put too much short grass in. What about plants? You guys don't really need anything, huh? Besides, I can't really afford to get you a tree, so you're going to have to wait. Come see the peacocks. That's all I have. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what could go here? I wonder if it would fit. I could put some exhibits. Now, I can't afford them right now. Um, I could put... I could. It's going to be kind of wonky with the pathing, though. So maybe I'll just make that a... Uh, <gasps> what?! What? Oh my god! <gasps> Whoever put that one conservation credit peacock up on the market board? Oh my gosh! It was leucistic! Are you kidding me? <gasps> it was leucistic! Oh my god! Look at how beautiful! Holy moly! Someone is just, someone was just my zoo, ty my zoo tycoon. Oh my gosh, my planet zoo Santa Claus. I can't believe that. This is the first one I've had too. I haven't even had one born into, look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. I haven't even had one born into my zoo yet. My other zoo. Oh my God. I'm taking pictures. Don't mind me. This is an exciting moment, Okay. Which means I might be able to breed... Oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to breed the leucistic peacocks. Peafowl. Whatever. Oh my god, that's so exciting! That's so exciting! I know I'm way more excited than I need to be about this, but holy moly, it's so pretty! I got it for one conservation credit. One. Uno. <laughs> that's... Look, oh my gosh, it's tail. It's so beautiful. I am so happy about this. I don't think I got the achievement, though, because I didn't breed it. But I might be able to breed some offspring. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Hello. I'm just going to keep looking at you because you are just gorgeous. You are gorgeous. I wish I saw who... Wait, can I see where he came from? Can I see, like, where he was born? Captive birth. Source, British Stunfisk. You, you, my friend, are wonderful. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I love this peacock. He is beautiful. Thank you for that one conservation credit. Leucistic peacock. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I'm I'm done fawning over how gorgeous this bird is. I need to start researching it. Cuz we have a vet. Let's start. Now, I know some people were complaining that they have to Oh, I did already get a mechanic that they have to um re research everything at least for the mechanics, but I don't really have a problem with that. I I actually think that re-researching everything, at least with another new zoo, is helpful. 
uh, not helpful, but it, it adds another la layer of difficulty, which in the beginning, you don't want your zoo to be too easy. So I'm curious though, does this, does this have a higher, oh no, it doesn't. It does not have a higher appeal. Oh, they changed it. You can see what they look like. You can see that he's leucistic now just by looking at his, oh my goodness. Scam callers. Sorry, I'm, I'm very much into Kingdom Hearts, if you can't tell. That's the Kingdom Hearts theme song. Or Kingdom Hearts 3, rather. Anyway, I was going to see if I could... Yeah, he shows up as leucistic on here, but in the market board, he did not. So I'm wondering if they're... No, you know what? I bet you they're not going to fix that. I think they're going to leave it so that we can be surprised. Because holy, holy cow, that was a surprise. Are you guys already going to breed? Because that would be wonderful. Look at how gorgeous, look at how gorgeous this boy is, Anushka. You need to breed with him. Breed with him. He's beautiful. What is his name even? Oh, they didn't give him a different, okay. They, they didn't name him anything different. I know some people on the market board, when they have leucistic animals, they actually will write like albino or leucistic on the name. But this was a complete surprise. I, I have video evidence that this was a complete surprise. That's super exciting. Um, I'm wondering if I should take out a loan so I can build another habitat, though. I can't imagine we're going to make a ton of money off of just peafowl. Because that's all we have at the moment. I probably shouldn't have spent so much money on the paths, but look at how nice it looks. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I kind of want to build another habitat right here. And I could do... I could do uh, pandas. Because I have red pandas that are from my zoo. My other zoo. Although I think they're related. I think... I think she... Is their sister. So I don't actually know if I want to do that. He's pretty nice, actually. He's slightly nicer, I think. Yeah, he's slightly nicer. But I'm... Yeah, they're the same age. I'm pretty sure they're all related. They're brothers and sister. So I'm going to need to get... Another one. I could trade them on this account. Although it doesn't matter, because I'd be getting the conservation credits regardless. All right, well, let me do that then. Because I do want to be able... Oh, actually, no. What I should do is I should hold off and try and afford a gorilla. Because I need those. Uh, so let's trade her. I'm going to probably just keep it at the recommended amount. Because she's not great. And then we will keep the other guy. And this is probably a good number. Well... Do I want to increase it a little bit? I feel like red pandas do sometimes sell pretty well. It just stinks that the market board's kind of derpy at the moment. We'll keep him for the moment, but I might try and see if I can get a gorilla. And actually, I should check the market board again. Oh, you know what? We're getting a fair amount of money. I should check and see if I can get a cheaper gorilla. Because sometimes they go up for like 400 which I can totally afford. That's how I got my gorillas in the other game. Ugh. Not at the moment, though. Also, there's a significant lack of male gorillas right now. Oh, there's one, but he is expensive. Not great, but I mean, it's okay. This one's not too bad, but I don't. How old is she? She's young. I should just try and wait. I'm going to wait and see if I can afford them later. Especially if I can sell off those red pandas. Then I might be able to get the gorillas. But since I have 1,200, I should probably put another habitat, like, right here. I'm just trying to think of another one that's fairly... Well, yeah. I don't want to spend too much, too many of my conservation credits right now. So let's just... Let me see what we have that are slightly cheaper. It just stinks that I can't 
scroll. Yeah, see, now I'm stuck looking at aardvarks, and I don't want to look at aardvarks because they are not cheap. Um, all right, so we've got those. Bison are usually, no, well, they're kind of middle of the road. Bongos are usually pretty cheap. I can get a bongo. Oh, yeah, I can totally do bongos. Uh, i got to be a lot younger than that, though. Oh, I guess I could spend, although I don't want to spend my cash. I'm even lower on that. If I got these two, that would work. So let's do that. They don't have to be great at the moment. 19's not too bad. I just don't want to spend too much. Oh, no! Shoot, he had a bad fertility gene! Well, we might be able to get a mate from him. It's just going to take a while. How about you? I could always just... Nope. He's better. All right. I'm just going <sighs> to... Where's the one that has the really bad fertility? Mandala? Yeah. Let's just release you to the wild. I'm going to lose like three conservation credits, but it's okay. All right. Um, by the way, I haven't even checked my challenges. Let's see. Adopt two different exhibit species, drink profits, and 300 guests. Okay. That's going to take a while. Um, yeah, so we'll build this right over here. Um, how much room do they need? I don't remember. Bongo. Oh, they don't need a lot of room. We'll make it like 400-ish since I'm going to have two of them. And yes, everything is going to be a square right now. I promise I will fix that. Um, but at the very beginning, there's only so much I can do. Or maybe more of a hexagon this time. Or a whatever. A whatever agon. I don't remember which one this is. <laughs> I think it's hexagon. This is, it's a mess, is what it is. It's a mess. Hello? Oh, come on, don't do this. Oh, well, fine. It's a, it's a, it's a mess. Let's just get rid of this one. And then we need to put, oh, actually, the barriers themselves are not that expensive. At least this kind. And then we need to get a door. How big is that? Oh, 544. That's perfect for bongos. Okay. Paths. Do I still have the... Uh, yeah. Hmm. Wait. Oh, shoot. Really? That's length one? Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. There we go. And now... Oh, paths cost a lot of money. It's the paths that are that are taking all my money. What am I doing? All right. I need education stuff. Education stuff. I don't think I can put another speaker right... Okay, I could put it here. I hope this is powered. I'm gonna have to check. It should be. Let's get one more over here. Yeah, it better be, because I can't afford another generator right now. I really don't want to have to take out a loan if I can help it. Not this early on. Oh. You have got to be kidding me. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't care. We're just going to move it. I don't need that very small amount to be... What? Hello? Can you... Oh, God. What have I done? What is happening right now? <laughs> um... Why is it doing that? that that's not how that works.
What is... What? No. No. I don't even know what happened here. There we go. That's better. It might it might be hovering off the board a little bit, but yeah, I don't even care. That's fine. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh. Donations! Because good gosh, give me money. I am super poor right now. Am I going to be able to afford to put windows in this? That is the question. I can go like... Now the bongos do not like it. Uh oh. What? I can't afford it, can I? <laughs> okay. Uh, what about here? Okay, I can do that. I have $30 left to my name. They're going to complain about that for a little while because they're not going to be able to see them from that side, but they're going to have to deal until I can afford to get other stuff. Also, I can't afford to feed them at the moment, so there's that. I might have to take out a loan. Also... Let's move the bongos. Wait. Didn't I release you to the wild? Why are you back? I'm confused. Did he not release? Uh. He's not releasing. Hang on, let me save just in case the game's about to do something bad. I don't know why he's not releasing. Alright. Move. I'm also going to need to get another keeper, you know, with the infinite amount of money that I have. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Bongo Habitat 1. Okay. We got them scooting off to go get the animals. Oh. And let's do the education boards. Uh, oh wait, they're not in here yet. That'd be helpful. Oh, before I lose all my money... Let me actually get their habitat together. Um, yeah, I guess this will have to do for now. Okay. Food bowl. I can't afford a fountain, so... Oh, boy. I need more money. Give me more money. Towns are expensive. I don't want to lose money. Oh no. Oh shoot. I might need to take out a loan. <laughs> I'm gonna need a loan. I also can't afford a keeper. I don't think I've ever needed a loan this early on. I got used to my other zoo that's making like $500,000. Yeah, you know what? Let's get a loan. I think I got a loan in my other zoo, too. Doesn't hurt. How do I do this? Finance. Loans. Oof. I mean, 4 to 40 years? Actually, I think I did a $20,000 loan in my last game, and it's got much less interest. So, let's go with this one. Okay, now I can actually afford to give you guys what you need. Give you a fountain. I think I'm going to need another water treatment plant. Again, not really sure if I need one for this. So let me know in the comments if I do. And let's do that. Bongo. 
got to say, I didn't actually know what a bongo was until I started playing this game. I used to play um, Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon 2, but I don't recall them being in the game. But then again, it's also been a very long time since I played those games, so I'm not sure. All right, so they got their fountain. They don't have any enrichment right now. What is going on with this? Ew. Wait, no, you've got hard... You've got shelter. What's your problem? Can you not fit? Oh, shoot. I was searching for an Indian peafowl shelter. <laughs> I'm dumb. You can't fit in that. What am I doing? Hang on. Species bongo. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder. Let's just put this here. They're like, um, hello, we can't fit in that. What are you doing? Okay. That's better, right? Also, I love the sounds of the tropical zoo. Like, I can hear, like, birds and stuff in the background. I couldn't hear that in the Europe one. Okay, shelter is better. Although not perfect, but we'll deal. Um... Less long grass. I have to ask, why is there so much long grass in this game if none of the animals like it? Let's, uh, actually, I can't even give them any short grass, so let's do some soil. And actually, I would assume that there would be soil along the bed here because, you know, there'd be so much shade that they wouldn't be able to um, grow any grass. Now there's too much of that. So here, let's go like this. Get rid of some more. Perfect. Kind of looks like a yin yang. I didn't really put any thought into that. I will, again, make these look better later. You need some plants. Oh, that's right. You guys like to hide. So giving you guys some places to hide is probably a good thing. So we need tropical Africa. Continent Africa. Tropical. Okay. I know that the tamarind trees offer a fair amount of shade, so let's give them a couple of these, especially over by like their bed area. And then let me put some of these ferns. Oh, they're actually okay already, but I'm going to make it look nice. Custard apple tree. I'm kind of going to make like, I don't know, like maybe a little thingy over here. Yes, a thingy. It's the technical term. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. There. Okay, that's good enough for now. Much better. All right, well, I think this is probably a good place to stop for the moment. Um, it has been... I lost track of time. I meant to make this a half hour episode. It is so not a half an hour episode, but that's okay. This game is amazing. I love it. I could play it all day if I had the time. But if you did enjoy this and you want to see more, please be sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't. You can also click the bell to know when my videos go live and you can follow me on social media. I post lots of channel updates there. And again, I still can't believe that I got this. Like, holy moly, this was such a surprise. That's awesome. But anyway, hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. And I hope you are enjoying the zoos as much as I am. Bye.